are you, Carl? Here we are, Javier. You ready Carl for a fun day? Yeah, Carl Bauer from Kelly Blue Book. And um, you might be wondering why we dressed up. We never like wear jackets or, <laughs> in your case, a tie, a hat. Yeah, what, so, are we, what are we trying to, you know, look like we're important or something? Exactly, like we're doing some important job. So if you're watching this video, it's because today, May 1st, we're going to the Kentucky Derby with a new Honda Pilot. And obviously, if you watch this video, it's because we went there, we bet, and we didn't win anything. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, let's take the opportunity to talk about this car, which uh, third generation of the Honda Pilot. And uh, so, Carl, what do you think? You know, Honda has this history of producing the most refined yet interesting and, and, and engaging vehicle in many classes, whether it's an economy car, a minivan, or a big family uh, crossover SUV like this vehicle. And they've actually kind of slipped recently, I feel like. You know, they were kind yeah. of, they, their styling wasn't as good well, in, well, in recent well, years. Well, the past five, 10 years Yeah, maybe. they yeah. kind of lost their way and they didn't really feel like they were the leading benchmark in a given category. But they've really come around in the last couple of years, and uh, the new next Civic's coming. It looks great. The newest Odyssey's fabulous. The CRV's doing well, and this is a little fit. Yeah, and the fit is the best benchmark yeah. car in that in that class. And now this, which is really their biggest, uh, most premium vehicle, is clearly the best one in class. I think. Don't you agree? After driving, the absolutely. Yeah, and uh, the, the most interesting thing to me was that we just drove the um, current because it's still on sale, 2015 on the pilot and you get into that car and it feels like it's from 10 years ago yeah i mean that's such a dramatic change everything from the exterior styling to the interior layout and quality of materials or yeah. lack thereof to the driving dynamics um this this car we're in now this 2016 pilot is like a light year jump ahead you know light years ahead of the last version yeah and they uh, you're right they took care of pretty much everything inside and out and like, especially in the inside like now the screen is only one screen instead of the two right. screen and one pretty much was useless like just like for uh, the audio setting and like you really didn't need that and now it has a beautiful screen like a huge front panel that very clear to use and everything I like also how do you think about the new transmission setting yeah they've got this great new uh, system of uh, engaging the different gears and it's not using one of these kind of uh, you know wonky pressurized stocks or even one of these weird things in the console that also slides back and forth it's just specific buttons and yeah. it's very easy it takes about you know 30 seconds to learn it and once you do it makes yeah I, I have to say that the first time you get to it like you really have a worse reverse worse park I like but after like the third time you were like pretty much set and, and, and go with it. And of course, you know, we're doing almost, you know, 80 miles an hour, maybe I should say that, but we're doing, you know, we're, we're yeah, on we're the freeway doing, cruising the, along. The speed limit is 70. <laughs> speed limit 70. We're doing between 70 and 80. And we don't have a mic. We're not using, you know, Nothing. mics and all. No. This car is super quiet. It's super, super quiet, quiet yeah. at freeway speeds. It's fabulous. They added a uh, trim. The, this is called the Elite trim, which is like the premium premium, like the top of the the range model and that this has everything including some uh, insulation in the glasses yeah, and the, the panels the, the and all side, that. the front glass is thicker and all of course it's got a panoramic sunroof yeah and uh, we don't know pricing for it yet but uh, I mean it's gonna have to be competitive in the segment like some some of the cars that we see the Pathfinder the front no the Highlander from Toyota and the Exploder from Ford I mean I, I, I we don't know yet but I, I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be very very competitive yeah, yeah, it should probably cost somewhere, the low end it'll cost like mid 30s, high mid to high 30s, and the high end it'll probably get close to like $50,000 if you load yeah. it up. Actually, we saw some uh, image of a, of a vehicle equipped with every single possible accessory. Yeah, deal Not accessories only package, too. Dealer accessories. And then they say that, that one is like around 70, but that's a, that's yeah, a that's extreme a, that's thing. A, yeah, if you've just got money to burn and all. And it, would, and it looked pretty neat too. It had special wheels yeah, and yes, all this 20 kind of stuff. inch wheels yeah. and all those kind of things. So um, this is a family car, obviously, and that's why Toyota, I mean Toyota, no, Honda brought us here too to Kentucky because we went to the Sioux the other day and now we're going to the Kentucky Derby and uh, the back second and third rows are pretty amazing too. Uh, the best thing about the third row is how easy it is to get to from the second row because yeah. you just push a button, a single button on the second row seats and they quickly and automatically flip and slide forward and then they slide right back. So even like a little kid who's got to get in the back seat, the third seat, could make the second row seat fold forward without, you know, it's no, no, not heavy, it's not complex, it just happens automatically. So one thing that they, uh, 
gets lost with with the, this new model is like the rockments of the past model, which yeah. like, they don't have anything like that anymore. They went away from the element, and now this is the, still a pilot, but it's like so different. So you think people are I'm gonna miss that kind of car because they don't have anything like that. Now they don't you know, have I, I feel like the buying group out there, the car buyer population, has evolved, and that overly trucky, boxy looking, you know, kind of There's rugged truck. You know, I mean, we, we saw the Hummer brands gone now. Uh, that, that kind of, you know, aggressive truck look doesn't really appeal to people who are actually looking for a very nice family car. They want just a sleek, aerodynamic, both both actually and uh, visually aerodynamic vehicle. And this car is really well styled, too. It's very, yeah, and, very and, and for those who really want that kind of thing, they can buy a Jeep, I guess. Huh? Right, you can buy a Jeep, <laughs> and you can still get a big Suburban or, you know, yeah. a truck-based vehicle if you really want to spend that kind of money and all. But this is a great sweet zone for this car to be in. It's as big as a full-sized SUV that's based off of a truck platform like a Suburban, but it drives, honestly, like a premium luxury vehicle between its quietness, its refinement. That's, that's, that's the only thing because some of, I mean, obviously Honda and Acura are together, same company, and like, these cars, especially this stream, like, it's pretty much getting there with the MDX. Yeah, this and feels like, like an Acura without yeah. the Acura badge is what it feels like. So this car has a 3.6 uh, V6 liter uh, V6 engine with uh, 280 horsepower, and we get pretty decent mileage, right? Like, what, what is it right now? Average mile 26 what? Uh, yeah, it's I'm hitting like between 30. I'm hitting 30 plus mpg if I'm right. If I'm just lightly on the throttle. Um, so out of a big vehicle like this, yeah, I'm averaging 25 and a half mpg since we since we started driving it today. Yeah, and this one comes equipped with this trim level comes equipped with a nine-speed uh, transmission, and that's kind of interesting because maybe some people don't understand what's the benefit of having a six-speed transmission against a, a nine. So that's uh, that helps obviously with the efficiency, right? Yeah, you've got more gears to choose from, so you just keep the engine at lower RPM uh, when you're on the freeway, and more efficient use of the of the horsepower throughout every range of speed. So. And that's and you know what's tricky, uh, Javier, with nine speeds is a lot of companies have trouble tuning those things. They don't I drive know. very well. You know, they'd be all jumpy and out. This thing's you can't tell it's a nine speed tranny. A lot of times you can tell because the tranny has seems to have trouble picking which gear it wants. This one doesn't yeah. feel that way at all. So the final thing that is really impressive is the amount of technology that they have put into this, especially this stream. It has like the smart. Um, cruise control, it has leg part assist that pretty much drives itself for a while, especially in this kind of setting on the highway. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can set it up on like cruise control and like even let the wheel go <laughs> because yeah, yeah. it has the lane departures. Plus, plus it has things like collision mitigation. It'll actually hit the brakes for you. If you aren't hitting the brakes and you're coming up on a stopped object, like a car at a stoplight, it'll warn you and try to tell you to hit the brakes. And if you don't, it'll hit them for you. Yeah, pretty impressive car. So um, we enjoyed driving it for uh, the past couple of days here. And now we're going to the races, and uh, we'll see how we could do there. I mean, well, you can put some money on. You can pick a horse. Come uh, on, we're Javier. Gonna, we're gonna try. I, I'm, I'm not an expert in that uh, field or any field, I guess. But <laughs> and I'm always gonna try something. So, question talk to you, Carl. Yeah, run and, for uh, the roses. We'll, we'll have fun. Yeah, here. we'll see you the next time. If we if we ever come back to the Kentucky Derby and have better luck, maybe we. Don't have to do this again. Yeah, maybe, maybe <laughs> we can win enough money to buy one of these top trip pilots. Exactly. Right. Bye. <laughs>